right? Totally. You, you did put in some Tibetan elements into your songs, some drums. Yes, yes. some chanto, actually. Chanto. It's the chanto. Mm. Uh, most of the part uh, we put into our music is not the music, it's like uh, the, the people praying, mm -hmm. like an old lady I met in, in Jokhan Temple. And she was playing very deeply, you know, um, moving at that time. And I followed her. I recorded her sound. Mm. She's playing. And some of the chantos from mm. the temple. Yeah. Well, Dadawa, I know it's hard to imagine because we're here in Beijing. We're in a TV studio. Yeah. But <laughs> we really <laughs> wanted to kind of bring back the elements of Tibet for you today. Um, and so we invited some friends um, to come and sing for you. And we also wanted our audience and our viewers to experience what Tibetan music sounds like. So um, I hope we could all welcome our Tibetan friends on stage to come sing a song for us. people they get used to sing to the they have a kind of like a kind of dialogue with the mountains with animals with you know sky so mm -hmm. they're always very 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 uh, huge view of the, the music. range yeah, is the range is very very wide right the yeah. range is almost as high as your yeah. mountains is that <laughs> can we say that I know there are many people love uh, Dadawa's music uh, especially those uh, with the Tibetan uh, Tibetan music elements. And, uh, I think that is because uh, Dado's music can bring them to the deep area of the Tibetan culture and uh, bring them to the uh, mystic Tibet. Um, uh, in my opinion, I think uh, Dado's music also uh, comes from life and over the life. Yeah. However, for we Tibetan people, I think maybe we are not very enjoy or not very appreciate with uh, like this kind of music because uh, the Tibetan people live at the plateau from generation to generation, and that that culture is very rooted for us. So uh, also we have the original uh, music. Mm. So you feel like it's different. I mean, she's yes, taken to the elements different. to make yeah. it very different. Yeah. Mm. Great. Thank you very much. All right. We, I know, aside from Tibet, we want to see if we can inspire you with some other ethnic groups, their songs. So we have a gentleman here who's from Mongolia, and he'd like to sing some songs specifically for you. Thank you.
It's beautiful. You've heard it's, this song before. Of course, it's a kind of very special skew called uh, Hu Mai. It's, I don't know how to uh, speak Can in you English. Do it? It's, who, uh, it's very, very dif uh, difficult things to, you know, I cannot actually. It's a kind of, uh, you know, that sing in a certain, uh, in the same time, they have two turns from their mouth. Yeah, one like in here and one in here, right. I think. So it's a very special and very high skill of singing. Sure. Very, very great. Thank you. I feel like it's really coming through. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, I know in the CCTV competition, this is the first year that they've had a competition of Yuan Sheng Tai, which is the original aborig aboriginal mm -hmm. singing. I mean, that's a competition. It's really getting a lot of, uh, of how should I say, recognition. Uh, for something that's that's a beautiful art. In fact, the gentleman here, he was actually part of the competition this year. Right? Really? Um, part of the singing competition this year. So there are so many different ethnic minorities, uh, and I do want to introduce a clip that we've prepared of all of the different songs from the ethnic mi minorities here in China. Let's take a look. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 